Today, we are going to talk about the PMBOK process flow. I would like you to take a sheet of paper or a whiteboard and follow along with me so that you've got a better understanding of how processes flow. Now, at a very high level, think about the processes like this. We have initiating, and this is what authorizes the project. Think about it like that, authorization and identification. After initiating is done, we begin thinking a lot more about planning. Now notice what I said, a lot more, because in all honesty, some planning has already started. It's just not planned to a detailed level. Imagine you were bidding on a project and you did some estimating before submitting the proposal. That actually does count as planning. So think about it like that. Planning is huge. So we have to draw a much larger box where planning is concerned. This is the planning process group. Now, when planning is done, the next thing that happens is you execute the plan. So what follows is the executing process group. Let's go ahead and use red for executing. Executing does not have as many processes, but they are very important because without executing, you would not have a deliverable. While executing is happening, there's also the monitoring and controlling process group that could be happening in the background. In fact, did you know that once you authorize a project, monitoring and controlling pretty much kicks in? If you haven't taken a look at page 555, in the PMBOK guide, I recommend that you do that because you'll be able to see an image showing you the overlap of the process groups. Finally, we have the closing process group. And closing is where we close out either a phase in the project or the project as a whole. Now, if we zoom out, you can see these almost look sequential, but in all honesty, they are not. You have an arrangement that will look something like this. Initiating, planning, executing, monitoring and controlling, which spans across, and then closing. That's pretty much the arrangement. So even though it's shown sequentially here, I want you to think about it like that. Again, go to page 555 in the sixth edition to better understand this overlap, okay? Now, Follow along with me on your sheet of paper because we're going to type in what happens in each process group. In initiating, we have the develop project charter process where we create the project charter and we have identified stakeholders where we create a stakeholder register. In the planning process group, we have the develop project management plan process which in essence rolls up all of the processes that happen in the other knowledge areas, but within planning. Other things that happen in planning are as follows. We plan scope management, we collect requirements, we define scope, we create the WBS, and then in scheduling, we plan schedule management, we define activities, we sequence activities, we estimate activity durations, and we develop the schedule. 
in cost management. We plan cost management. We estimate cost. And we determine the budget. In quality, we plan quality management. In resources, we plan resource management. And then we estimate the activity resources. Moving down the list, we have just a few left. In communications, we plan communications management. And in risk, we plan risk management. We identify risks. We perform a qualitative risk analysis. We perform a quantitative risk analysis. And then we plan risk responses. In procurement, we plan procurement management. And lastly, in stakeholder, we plan stakeholder engagement. So if you look out and you count, you can see we should have two processes in initiating, 24 in planning, and then in executing, we'll have 10. In monitoring and controlling, we'll have 12. And in closing, we'll have one. That one is easy to remember in closing. It's an integration. So let's continue in executing. In executing, we have direct and manage project work. We have manage project knowledge. And then moving down, we're going to skip scope, schedule, cost, and get to quality. And then we have manage quality. Going down to resources, we have acquire resources, develop team, manage team, and then going down into communications, we have manage communications. Going down to risk, we have implement risk responses. Going into procurement, we have conduct procurements. And going down into stakeholder, we have manage stakeholder engagement. And that's really it for executing. There are 10 things in there. It's that simple. We have very little left. Let's go to monitoring and controlling. Monitoring and controlling, we have two things that happen in integration. We have monitor and control project work, and we have perform integrated change control. In scope, we have validate scope and control scope. In schedule, we have control schedule. In cost, we have control cost. In quality, we have control quality. In resources, we also have control resources. Now, going into communications where there's human interaction, we don't use the word control, we use the word monitor. So we have monitor communications. Going into risk, again, we cannot control uncertainty, so we have monitor risk. Going into procurements, we have control procurements. And lastly, in stakeholder, again, we cannot control our stakeholders' engagement, but we can monitor our stakeholders' engagement. And that is the 12 that we have in monitoring and controlling. Let's talk about closing the final one, and this is just close project or phase. And there you have it, my friends, the 49 processes from the PEMBOK guide 
explained. Now, I haven't gone through each box and counted them, but if you do find any discrepancies, do let me know. All of this is from memory. I did not cram these processes. I know them because of the logical order of occurrence. Thank you very much for joining me and I wish you all the best in your prep. If you have any further questions or you wanna check out the training we've got going on, go on down to the website. It's www.prazion, that's P-R-A-I-Z-I-O-N, Dot com. We have various courses and materials to help you in your journey to become PMP, CAPM, or ACP certified, to mention a few. Bye for now.